after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. What's going on my fellow fuzz buds? Zappa the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. Alright, so this is another one of those things that I'm pretty sure a lot of people have come across and that's the fake accounts on the internet. And what I mean by that is, is whenever somebody, some random person sees, like for example, somebody with a following, you know, it could be Markiplier, it could be Vixen Drunk, Recub, same person, haha, <laughs> Majira, or anybody like that, it'll be some random person, they'll make an account, whether it be on YouTube, Twitter, anything like that, they'll make the account, save the pictures from the actual person, and upload them to this fake account. And whenever new people enter the fandom or whatever, they may not exactly know which one is the real one, because it's pretty hard to get verified on social media. Especially if you're in a fandom like the furry fandom, you know, anime fandom, stuff like that. It's hard for somebody to tie that character to those accounts. And that can be kind of detrimental to whenever, like I say, when people first get into the fandom because they don't know what direction they want to take. I mean, sometimes it's obvious because these people have pretty big followings. And like, say, for example, if you do see that account that Majira made and they only have... 65 followers and they say this is the new account of the real Majira and it kind of raises speculation to most people they'll be like no I know the real one is over here but to those new people they might not they may not know and be like okay the, the the name says Majira so I'm guessing that is who it is I myself have come across this situation a couple of times in the past one being from somebody sending me screenshots from a Call of Duty game asking me if I in fact play Call of Duty and I had to verify with them that I don't because one it was a game that I'm not even really fond of playing and two it was on console and I play my games on PC so that was two very big red flags saying like hey that's definitely not me and it's also happened a couple of times on Second Life I only just recently made an actual Second Life and I haven't really did anything with it because Whenever you first start off with stuff like Second Life, you have nothing, you have this basic avatar, and I'm like, yeah, my username says, like, the real Zabu the Circle, which I completely hate making usernames like that, because that whole tag, the real, makes it seem pretentious, and I just hate doing that. That's why I usually come up with an entirely different name, but that's simple, quick to the point, if I were to play Second Life more, which probably won't happen, but I won't say that it's a complete impossibility. And that'll be my name on there. But yeah, it does happen a lot, and especially as you start to build your following, these types of duplicates start to happen more and more. The main way to get around the duplicates, if you're having this problem with other people making your accounts, is to debunk them. Like, Make sure that if you have this Twitter account that's being manipulated, not manipulated, wow. Make sure that if you have the account that's being copied, that you let people know, hey, I only have this, 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 and this. If you see my usernames on this site and this site, that is 100% not me, it's fake, don't follow them. Especially if they have a YouTube channel and they say these things because I cannot stress it enough. When people say that they followed me on these random social medias, I've gotten messages and screenshots saying, hey, I didn't know you had blah. Yeah, blah. And I'm like, it's because I don't. As you see down here in the dibbly below, those are the links to the social medias that I have. He does I, now have a second life. <laughs> yeah. And I do have a Tumblr, but I don't advertise Tumblr because I don't use Tumblr. But I do have one, and a lot of you have found it and followed it, <laughs> but I don't use it. But hey, I do have one. But yeah, all of my social media are down there in the dibbly below, all the links and all that stuff. So any of that extra stuff, if I haven't said that I've changed it in the video or like on my Twitter or whatever, then it is 175% fake and you should not be following that if you want my content. Ah! 
Now, I don't know if other people with followings do this stuff, like, you know, have their social media links down there, but they definitely should because it does bring the confusion down to nothing. Yeah, one of, uh, in here. So, yeah, definitely double check and do your research on the people. That way you know that you are following the authentic account. And if you have the account that's being manipulated, make sure... Why do I keep saying manipulated? Copied! Make sure that you let your followers know what social medias you have and what your usernames are on these social medias. That way they know exactly which ones to follow. So yeah, I hope this video has been of help to you guys. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, if you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know when the next Q&A is going to be? Have for Affinity. Want to drop fan artists off of the circle? Fan artists, always welcome. Keep it PG-13. Nah. But as always, my name is Zabba the Circle, and I'm out of here. <laughs> La 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 <laughs> Question of the day. Have you encountered any fake accounts from the people that you follow? Post your comments down in the dibbly below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. Why? Wow.